Welcome to the Fast Bulletman Fight of the Month. Each month I will show you a Bulletman scenario and I'll break it down in detail to show you what went right, what went wrong, and how you can improve so you can be the best Bulletman and Bullet Babe you possibly can be. Hope you enjoy this. One of the biggest mistakes that people make in the suit is they hold their breath. You want to woof throughout the whole fight to make sure that you're breathing. You want to keep your hips loose. You don't want to back up too much. Stay on your toes, not on your heels. And you want to clench with all your male students to avoid the upper body struggle. Check out this scenario. The biggest thing I want to point out this month is how to really loosen up your hips so that you can be most effective, uh, giving good targets for the students and responding appropriately. So watch this scenario again and watch my hips. I'll talk you through it. So here we go in slow motion. Now make sure in the rear attack you do not bonk the student's head with your helmet. That's a pretty common mistake. Now my hips are back. I made her step forward, which is important too, and I'm responding to the, to the strikes. I'm also woofing at this time. Now she turns. I let go when I want her to go for the eyes. I give her a little bit of space. Now watch as the hips come forward, and then they go back. Nice loose hips. Okay, and the hips come forward again as I stand up. Now I come at her. Watch how from the eye strike, the hips go forward, presenting a good groin strike. The hips go back, going down into three point, and the hips come forward for the final ending into the dead bug, where I will stay until you hear that go get help. Really the most frustrating thing that, uh, that I get when I'm teaching new guys and gals is keeping those hips loose. I know it takes practice. Being in the suit is the best cure of all. So pro watch this again over and over. Practice in that suit and stay loose.